Hi, Sandy here. Um, I'm going to do some scrapbooking today. I've started my um, zoo trip vacation, not a vacation. Uh, we took a trip to the zoo in June, <laughs> and I'm just now getting them scrapbooked. Um, I took a lot of pictures. Um, it's it's um, the end of September right now, and I'm just now getting them scrapbooked. So this is my first page. And I had some zoo print paper. Um, I didn't take any pictures of zebra, so I used some zebra paper. Because what else am I going to use it for? This is the receipt for uh, the three of us going to the zoo and our tickets. And having dinner at the uh, Rainforest Cafe there. And um, I made this little pocket here and put my um, map in there of the zoo. And I can, I can reach in there and, and pull it out and look at it if I want to. This is, um, I don't know where I got it, but it's like a safari animal, so I use that. Um, and then these are my lion pages. Um, I just happen to have these lion things, and I, I put them together. Didn't have any lion paper, it's just plain brown, so I, I used this brown paper for a background. Um, took several pictures of the giraffes. Um... I had this, and I had giraffe paper, yay! Uh, I had this giraffe sticker, it says giraffe. Then I had this sticker, and I just whipped up this little tag to decorate the page. Um, you know, it's really simple. I don't get really complicated with my pages. I like, I just like them colorful and interesting. And, and um, some people think scrapbooking is pretty hard, but it, it's really not. This page, all I did was arrange the pictures on there, and I let the the um actually I put this on plain brown paper and I put a strip of the zebra paper right here and that really brings the page to life and I put the thing on there. that's it uh it's pretty simple uh I don't get really <laughs> too complicated this I use a gray background paper solid and then I just found a, a strip of gray paper cuz the elephants are gray and um kind of matches the elephant skin this is a statue. These are all statues at the zoo. Um, this is my husband. Um, this was something I cut out of a magazine or something for my glue book pages. And, and why not use it in my scrapbook? It's not acid free, but I don't care. Um, I had these elephants. And I just put them on these um, tags. And I just drew around them with a magic marker. And maybe you could do a lot more neat or line around them. But... I like the homemade look. <laughs> I don't fuss. I really don't fuss. I don't take a whole lot of time choosing things. I do like to keep my things very, very organized so that I can find my zoo animals are all together. All the animals are together with the section for the zoo animals. I have a farm section of farm animals and I put like tractors and silos. Anything farm related would go with the farm animals even though it's not a, not an animal. You know, you get it. Um, they have a, a big building that's like a rainforest inside. They even got a waterfall, and it's pretty cool. Uh, this is a bat. You can barely see in the picture. That's my husband by the waterfall in the rainforest. These are some odd-looking turtles. I had this turtle sticker. Obviously, it's a different kind, but does it matter? Not really. Oh, and I used this paper. It's like tropical leaves, which is great for the rainforest. Now. I don't we don't go on tropical vacations <laughs> but yet you buy a paper pad and you get some tropical paper in there and uh, what am I gonna do with that <laughs> well zoo pictures you know you gotta use your imagination and then um, I didn't get pictures of they have a, a building in the, uh, the butterfly building and then they got a bug section in there too um, they got butterflies and then out, right outside when you leave there's this bit butterfly bench um, so my daughter and I took our pictures sitting on the bench because we really like that bench. And so I used butterfly paper on the background. And I had, this was actually on a page of stickers from Dollar Tree. And it's real layered and thick. Uh, and I made a tag with it. I just pulled that out of my book of tags. And stuck it on there. Easy peasy. Um, these are just some animals I don't know what they are assorted deer like antelope like animals 
There, there are different kinds. Um, and I use this paper with plants in the background for a kind of a nature background. And then I had a border. I used the rest of this border on another page. And this is the, because it's like 12 inches long. And I only, and I only needed eight and a half inches of it. So I used the edge of it here and wrote zoo on it. And then cheetah. I looked up what's the difference between leopards and cheetahs. And this is a cheetah. Um, as you can see by this paper, um, there was a brown spot with a black ring around it. That's leopard. Now a cheetah only has one color spot. Um, they just have a solid color spot. So that's a cheetah. So uh, um, then some of these animals, I don't even know what they are. Sometimes when I do zoo pictures, pictures, I'll take the time to look it up. And sometimes I don't even know what to look for. I do know this is a hippopotamus. Here's the rest of that that border. I put it on this page. Uh, just some various animals here. Uh, these are the primates. Um, I didn't. We're having a rainy day. You can hear the thunder. And my two dogs are in my craft room with me. They're sticking close to me today. I don't think they like the thunderstorms. They don't freak out or anything, but they're just more comfortable being close to me. Anyway, so these are some primates. Um, not your basic monkeys, but I only had basic monkey stickers, you know. So I went ahead and used them. There's some monkeys on a little border here, and I used uh, this background. I, I used a print paper for the background here, and it got pretty much fully covered up. But you know what? I got so much paper, it doesn't really matter because I just I got to use it up. Anyway, so I, I had all these... Um, I've shown you my box of tags. I have a box of what I raw, call raw tags. is what I cut out of cereal boxes and stuff. And then I go through later on and use up some scraps. And I make these tags and I cover them with scraps of paper. Um, so, and, and I like to decorate these tags. As you can see that by that butterfly that I had made. Um, so I just grabbed one of my tags that I had covered with scraps and I put the monkey sticker on there. I wrote primates. That's pretty cute. Now I could have gotten fancier added, you know, I like to have my little scraps of paper hanging off the edge for more interest. But I didn't get real fancy, you know. Um, here's gorillas. I got a picture of someone holding a, one of the zoo people holding this baby gorilla. And these are statues. They have a lot of nice statues there at the zoo. Um, this is the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo. I live pretty close to Omaha. I, well, really close where there's, you know, <laughs> there's not even country between Council Bluffs where I live. And there's the river and then Omaha. They're like one giant metropolis. Uh, so, and I don't go there very often, like every five or six years. And it's, um, like the top zoo in the world. And it's in, comp San Diego Zoo is up there too. Um, I visited my brother in San Diego and he wanted to take me to the zoo and I said why? I've got the greatest zoo in the world right here at Omaha. Uh, so we just don't go very often though so it was a treat. Uh, and then I had a, a gorilla page that I wanted to decorate so I left a blank page here. Uh, these are just some various animals. This is from a, my daughter's coloring book. I don't know why it's so small, but it's a zookeeper. I just cut out of a color, coloring book, and I, I've had it for a long time. I've recolored it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what this animal is. They told told us what it was, and I don't remember. This is cute laying there on the stairs. Um, and then I, I'm not sure what order I'm going to put these. These are aquarium pictures. Um, this is a two-page layout I made. And all I did was, um, now, your pictures won't fit on an 8.5 by 11 page. I don't do 12 by 12. I like 8 by 8.5 eight by 11. I started with them 18 years ago, and I'm, I'm consistent with them because I have a lot of ongoing sections in my scrapbooks, and I just want them, I'm, ne I'm never going to do 12 by 12. And if you do 12 by 12, that's great. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I have no problem with that, but... For me, eight and a half by eleven. I don't have a lot of. I do a lot of the same layouts, and I do this layout a lot. 
Um, anyway, what I was saying was, you can't get three photos here. And I always have to crop them. You know, just to take a little off the top or the bottom to get them on the page. And usually that works pretty well. And then this is some paper I had. Um, and I just used a strip on each side. Ba boom. That's all you need. I don't need to add any stickers. I don't need any embellishments. That looks great the way it is. Um, you know, pretty simple. And then I've got this one. These, are, This is my ugly fish page. <laughs> These are our uglier fish. Like you'd see in the, in the Amazon River or something. Amazon Rainforest. They're, they're, they're ugly fish. There's a lot of starfish here. And um, I had these two die cuts that I just, just recently got somewhere and um, then I had these stickers with, and, with bubbles and this is what you call a sticker sneeze. You just throw some stickers randomly on there. <laughs> so those are done and I, I'm, I'm going to decide what order I'm going to put those in. And then I will scan them all and I, can, I keep my scrapbooks on the computer. Um, I took some pictures of some uh, of a peacock and her babies. Uh, and I used this paper as a background. I had a peacock feather sticker. I had a peacock, you know, I have a big collection of birds for my glue books. So I put a peacock there. And then I used some glitter paper. I'm trying to get you used this glitter paper used up. I made some photo mats with it and some circles and squares to make embellishments. And I'm getting it used up, and I think it looks good with that peacock. And then pink flamingos. I happen to have this. This was for a glue book. These are some figurines and a pillow and a lamp with pink flamingos on it. But what the hey, I put it on there. And then I had this sticker, and I put a smile. I put the smile on there. Um, I just was was an embellishment that I had made. You know, one time when I was making some embellishments, and hey, there's a pink flamingo. Put it on there. Okay, now this was I'm talking about that tropical paper. I don't think I'll be going to. That's my timer. I got. I've got laundry going. It's time to go change the load. Um, this is an embellishment that I had made, and I had it in with my embellishments. I just stuck it on there. It's got some fruit on there, which I think kind of goes good with the the birds. This is actually a statue there. These are real boy, birds. This is a statue. Um, but I use this tropical print flower paper as background. And then a swan. Um, this is a swan statue. This is a swan swimming with all these koi fish. We look down off a bridge to see these. And, and then they got these dispensers. You can buy food to feed them. And you toss a handful of food in there and these fish just go bonkers. <laughs> eating that food and there was a swan there and then this is off a greeting card so this is my swan page and all I did was use this background um, I was thinking water an aqua color water and then I had these strips I just put those on there for a little detail and that's that um, so I'm gonna go get the next load of laundry in and I will be right back Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm going to be scrapbooking in a couple of minutes, like I promised. Um, just a few more things I want to say. Um, right now, I'm putting this um, zoo section in this very slim notebook. I reuse it. Um, now, if we had gone to the zoo and had maybe four pages of photos, I would have put those in with um, my family. I, I'm on like my fourth or fifth book of my family which is my husband and me and my daughter just everyday things birthdays and holidays in there um, but because it's so much I'm making its own section sort of like a vacation and um, <coughs> my real vacations they get bigger and bigger every time my last vacation I filled up like two three inch books <laughs> I had I, like 700 photos and I'm not one who chew, pick and choose my favorites I put them all in the book if I like them I print them and I put them in the book I don't understand putting them away in a box and you're probably never going to look at them again you know people do that and that's fine <laughs> that's not for me so I have this book that I made this is 2016 um, we went to Des Moines um, 
we stopped at a restaurant on the way. It was kind of cool, kind of real country. Um, we went to uh, Adventureland Park in Des Moines. There's the map. I didn't even make a page. I just put it in there so I could pull it out and look at it. There's our parking permit. Um, here we are at the park. And there's the park. Uh, this was at the park. Um, and then uh, real close by, we spent the night at a motel just for the fun of it. And they had this Max's um, diner and gas station. And it's very 50s style. You can see by the signs. <clears throat> They've got these old gas pumps out front. It's really cool. So I made a really cool page out of that. You see. Um, and then on the way home, we stopped at Brass Armadillo Antique Mall. And they were having a uh, outdoor tent sale. And I got some b real bargains there. Bought a lot of stuff I don't need. I'm real good at that. Yeah, so I took some pictures of some stuff they had. Um, yeah, this is... I just, Somebody must have had a Mickey Mouse collection there for sale. That's not my stuff. But I just took some pictures. <laughs> oh, and I got some signs for the garage at that... Um, sale. So that was fun. So it's been in this little book and I never made a cover for it. Yeah, I, I, I usually decorate the front and back. So the when I finish my zoo pictures <coughs> I will get a bigger binder which I have plenty of and put them in there and I'll probably add one or two more little events and it'll be on the spine. <coughs> so that's how I'm doing that. And now I'm ready to scrapbook. Um, I've already made my layouts. Um, but like this one, I didn't have any good embellishments, so I figured this reminds me of Finding Nemo. So I went online. Uh, I went to Pinterest, but you can you can Google Google images too and find images. I download them and I print nine to a page. Apparently, this is wallet size. So I print, print nine pictures on a page. So there now I've got embellishments for my page, and and I'm not, I can just glue them on. I've been known to do that, but I'm going to get a little bit fancier. I've already glued these pictures on here, so I just need to do something with the blank space. And I don't I don't think about layouts. I don't. I just do what works. Um, these these I cropped to get them to fit on there. There was a, you know, and then uh, this one I didn't. So, and I've got this circle I was looking at a little bit ago. I need to pull this out of here. Um. One time I had a bunch of strips of paper and I got some circles and squares and rectangles, cut out a circle, and then I glued some colored strips to them and cut them out with fancy scissors. So that's basically a circle. And I think that would look good right there, just for a little extra something. Um, well, this one's going to go here. Yeah. And I think that one I'll just glue on as is, or... No, I'm going to look at my... I've got a lot of rectangles here, too. So maybe I'll find something good to use. Something possibly waterish. These are good for embellishments, and I just try to use things up. Not sure I'm find anything. I'm thinking blue. I like that. And that's that. Just got to use this stuff up. 
Okay. So I gotta stack these neatly. And things fall out. Well those were not those are not glued on. It's when I get a, a new stuff I just drop it in there and it's where it, it's where it belongs and then sometimes I'll go through and, and glue things down and get everything organized. And I like to do that at least twice a year and then I'm I'm pretty well aware of everything that I have. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe I'll put the square up here because that's bigger. And we got less space down here. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna um, try it first. I'm just gonna glue stuff on here. Okay. So I'll put this right here. Like I say, I try not to think too hard. I just like to get my stuff used up. I like to um, have my pages colorful and interesting, and that's about it. Now this, I love my little corner rounder. My friend Trisha gave this to me a long time ago. She actually gave me two of them. She gave me this one and this one. And, um... I had been using this one and it's pretty good but a lot of times I gotta go wham <laughs> but this one is is so much simpler I kind of just I've had this stashed away and I kind of recently discovered it so I like that one better okay you can see this little piece of paper on the back that's where I just use a little dot of glue dot of this I just go boom and stick it onto my pages and then when I'm ready I can just pull it right up. Now this I just glued the whole thing I won't be pulling this off. So I'm just going to stick this on at an angle and then I'm going to... You know what I think I'll round the corners on this one too. I like rounding corners. Gives it a more finished look. Sometimes things are too close to the corners and that don't work too well but this, this is going to work. And then, then we clean our house on Tuesday. Um, we sweep the floors and mop and dust. And I always have these things all over the floor. <laughs> I, I do have a wood floor here, but we have a, a stick vac. We have two dogs and a cat. And the stick vac does not have the, the roll. It doesn't roll. It just sucks up all that dirt and uh, all the dog hair. And, and I wish I had discovered them years ago because... That's how we clean our floors now with the stick back. It just, and then you don't even have to bend over with the broom and dustpan to pick it up. Okay. Um, let me look at my circle, circles for something small. We need, need a little bit of something right there. Something small. How about a gold dot? Because, hey, why not? And maybe another circle, too. Small circles. I got these circles I've been making with my with my circle punch. And pretty soon I'm going to be going through my scraps and use, making a lot of things with them. Because, and I'll videotape it. Because they're really piling up. Yeah, I got I quite a few of those. But that's alright. I'm looking for something smaller. Like this, maybe. This is a sticker. Now I wish I hadn't put this on there yet, but it'll come off. There. No rhyme or reason, just, just trying to use up my stuff. You know what? <laughs> I see this sticker. This foam sticker, I've had it for a long time, and I am going to use it right there for no reason. There. I've been trying for a few years to get these used up. I've got different shapes in, in different categories. I've got those in my circle categories. So...
Okay. See what I'm doing wrong here is I did not stack these. I got to stack these before I slide them in or else things catch. But otherwise I really like this system I have here. Some things I put in these bags and other things I put in page protectors. Alright, that page is done. I'm not going to write anything because I don't know the names of these fish. Just look at the colorful pictures and enjoy. That's that. Alright. Then I've got this. Um, these are jellyfish and this is a yellow fish. I'm going to cut these out. These, the, all, all of these embellishments you're going to see are downloaded from Pinterest and, and printed up. Because I didn't have anything to embellish my pages with. Well, the other ones in that were in my book, I did have stuff, and I try to use up what I have. But if I just don't have anything that's going to work, I go go get something. Okay, and I'm going to round the corners. Now I could kind of cut these out, but I like the blue background because it goes perfectly with my photos. This is not working right. That's odd. Alright. I am not fussy. That's good enough. Is there something caught in there? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Do better this time. Maybe I wasn't getting it lined up right. I don't. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of put these like this, but the page needs a little something more. So, let's see what I got in my orange. This is my scraps of strips, and I, and I have tons of them. So, let, ooh, okay. This is my orange, and I'm looking at this glitter strip yeah I like that and then I want something blue so here's my blue I have this basket and I made these thick card um, dividers and put a color on them I sort them by color and then each one I just took a piece of eight and a half by eleven paper and I think I trimmed it down this is cardstock. And I folded the bottom like this. And so each color I can just pull that out and have a look at what I have. Um I like that. <laughs> See, I don't try I try not to think a lot. I just get my pages done. Okay, now. So now I think these are 12 inches long, so they're going to stick off the top, but that's not a problem because I will just trim them off the top or the bottom or whatever. I'm going to put this right here. Um, and some people like to make two page layouts, and I just make, well, those fish pictures with the fish paper on each side, that's a two page. I do make two page layouts if I have enough photos for a two page layout. But I also make a lot of one page layout. And and um, two pages next to each other in a book that have nothing to do with each other. That doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> it really doesn't. Okay. Stick that on there. This is why I'm big on borders. They're great for spilling up, filling up this space. I do this layout 
all the time. Three photos here and then I got this area to fill in. That's why I love making borders so much. And that's how I do it. Now I'm going to glue this on and the, it won't stick very well right over this glitter part and that's okay because there's plenty of paper now if this was a wide strip I would need to use glue with glue dots or something else to glue it on but because it's just a small strip there's still plenty of paper touching on places that it will stick well to so that gotta work okay so I'll put this here And I, I like to angle my things. You can put them straight, whatever, whatever pleases you. Everybody's different. That page is done. That looks good enough for me. Okay. Sharks. <laughs> I did this page already. I used this um, background. I thought it looked good with the background of the photos. I used some gray mats because the sharks are gray. I printed these photos or paintings so I'll cut those out excuse me just broke okay I'm going to round the corners. Maybe I need to run this through some tin foil. Maybe it's getting a little dull because I do use it a lot. Well, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I better stick with it because it might be slightly different than the other one. Yeah, see this is harder to push down on. It works well though. It, uh, thicker things like cardstock, i got to do that. All right. Now, I don't like this big gap right here. So I collect all of these um, strips. And I'm looking for something maybe blue that will look good with that. Not butterflies, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, let's see what I've got. I just love strips of paper. I don't know why. I do. I do. I love them. I, I saw something blue. Oh, no. Love. Fly. Live. Fly. Love. No. Mm. Yeah. That'll do. And I'm going to quit looking. Maybe a little bit more. That's, that's not bad either. The darker color looks better. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to quit looking. I am. That's, that's good enough. Using up my stuff. Don't you hate it when you make a page and, it, and it's fine, and then then later on you see something stashed in your supplies and oh man, that would have been just perfect for that page. Darn! I miss using it, and I don't know when I'll need something like that again. <laughs> don't you hate when that happens? Okay. Now, I'm just going to tear this here because I don't want to get too much glue on it. I will have to trim the edge. Not a problem at all. Okay. I think this looks pretty good with the background on on both of these photos. So, so we'll trim this off. Now I'm gonna look at my circles again. Hmm. 
gray. Sharks are gray. I'm thinking circles because bubbles. A blue smiley sticker that ain't gonna do it. Okay, I guess that's all of my circles. I guess I can make some more circles. <laughs> when I've played with my scraps, I'm gonna make some more circles. I might end up with a little baggie on them. Okay. So, I'm going to put this here. And I also think the circles go good with the circle round picture of the shark. Now, obviously these are sharks and I don't really have to write anything on here. But this looks rather bare right there, so I'm going to write shark. Sharks. Maybe down here on the blue. <coughs> Probably not going to show very well. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to draw a few bubbles water bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Not looking great. Oh well. Maybe maybe I'll just go. And it's sloppy. If you're a patient person and pay more attention to details, you might do a better job. That's done. So three pages. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. These are um, stingrays. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which is the top. Okay, now this one is a is a figurine, a picture of a figurine. It's got coral and the stingray. So I'm not going to cut it out square. I'm going to cut out the actual shape. And sometimes I cut right up to the edge, but if there's a lot of details, I'll leave a little margin around it. Or if the background is too close to the same color as, as what I'm going to be gluing it onto, I'll leave a little white margin around it to make it stand out against the, the color on the background, you know. Some people tell me I'm a pretty good fussy cutter. I guess I do a lot of fussy cutting. But the really detailed stuff, I don't... I don't, um... do a lot of that, the really detailed stuff. I cut, give it a, a, a little edge around it. Sometimes I do. Alright.
and I just have so much of these strips. I try to use them up every chance I get. So let's look at the blue again. You know what? I'm going to pull this blue out. Well, yeah, I've got more um, sea life pictures and some other pictures. Uh, so I'll be using a lot of blue. So and and I recently got a lot of this type of border, and I want to get those used up, but that's not going to work. Um, I need borders that's going to work with water. I don't know. Oh, that's watery. The color is just, the color is not right. Oh, this is perfect. I need to get this used up. I'm going to put three strips of this on there. That's sort of wavy looking, like waves. Although not, maybe going in the wrong direction, but we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So I'll get these glued. trying to get this kind of lined up fairly even spaces it doesn't have to be perfect there we go oh I like that these are from back in the early days of scrapbooking oh darn it that's not gonna quite line up I got a little bit off but I'll just make it work There. Oh, I, I like that. I do. Okay, so now I got to snip this off this end. I'm going to snip these off. And I'm glad I got those used. All right. And I usually try to think about it when I put glue something directly onto a photo. If it's a nice photo of a person I may in 30, 40 years from now or somebody else when I'm gone may want to take the photo out of the book for some reason, put it in a frame. So I try not to overlap things like that. <laughs> but I can't imagine somebody treasuring these these zoo photos so much that they're going to want to take take it out and and reuse it in the future. Um, this is permanent in my opinion and I do have these photos on my computer that I can print them more if I want. So that page is done. Okay. Now this these are emus. I tried to figure out the difference between emus and ostriches and I came to the conclusion that these are emus but I could be wrong. So I found some emus. And this, I don't know what kind of bird that is. I should have got a picture of, of each bird but I didn't. I got two of the emus. But that's alright. This is a cute picture of a close-up of a emu's face, so that that makes my page kind of cute. 
and sometimes I wonder if I hope they don't think that those are my photos those because those are stock photos All right. So I'm going to put them like that. And I'm going to look for maybe a square and a circle to fill in some space. A square or a rectangle. I could go with That'll do. See, I'm not, I'm not going to dig through here. Although, no. I do like to use up this darn glitter paper. Yeah. So, I'm going to find some circles, too. this one and this one because hey why not <laughs> I think I just added a little bit of purple to the page because it doesn't matter well it kind of does matter, but it's not going to hurt anything in this case all right so now, I could have made a nice tag but since I had two photos I decided not to but it's just about filling up this space, not filling it, but putting something in this space. I don't care for a lot of white space. Okay, so this is going to, yeah. I hear my cat meow and he, my dogs are just laying here. They're so quiet. <laughs> okay, so that goes there. These darn glitter paper, they're really stiff and they don't, the corners curl up a lot. But once they're in the page protector, I don't have much problem with them. And I do have to press them down a few times as they're drying. All right. There's my other circle. I think this one is a sticker. emu. No, I'm not going to because it could be an ostrich. And that's that. Okay. I've got these ducks. Now this was a large photo and it was a lot of just water and this was down in this corner and these were up in this corner and getting all the photos to fit on the page. I said, you know what, I'm just going to cut those out and put them there. Okay. So I went online and found these pictures of these geese and based on the markings I learned that I believe they're Canadian geese. I find that on vacations and trips to the zoo, things like this, this is when I usually need to go online and find specific things that I would never have in my in my stash. And my daughter will inherit all of these scrapbooks. I have two um, shelving sec units, two sections. They're three foot wide. There's oh. 
I think seven shelves on each one full of scrapbooks. Well, I got a little bit more space on them and probably by the time I die I'll have three sections full. <laughs> um, I think I counted 93 scrapbooks. Some of them are ongoing. They're not finished. A lot of them are like like um, vacation books and, and several, several of them are finished. But <laughs> My daughter will in inherit all of the books, and they're on the shelves, and she will also inherit the house, so she can't say she don't have a place to put them. And she loves the scrapbooks, and I, you know, I, she likes to look things up in them. Well, when did this happen? And, and she really likes the scrapbooks. She don't want to do the scrapbooks. And part of the reason I make so many tags and borders is because I love making them but also because I want to leave her this huge stash of them when I'm gone hopefully in 20 years <laughs> uh, so that she can go ahead and scrapbook photos put a tag or border on boom she's done you know so that's done I'm not gonna put any strips on there because I think this print paper is enough all right so I got these gorillas <laughs> So I printed this picture. You know what? I do not like seeing the gorillas at the zoo. The gorillas are so intelligent and they're always sitting around looking depressed. I do not believe they are happy in those cages at the zoo. I, the other animals don't bother me so much. Um, but the, zoo, the gorillas, I don't enjoy seeing the gorillas. Do you hear my cat meowing? He wants to come in this room with us. I'm going to let him in. The dogs are laying here peace and quiet. Come on. Now he's standing there looking in the door. Come on, I want to close the door because I can hear the TV. Come on. He, he likes the dogs and the cat. The, the two dogs. He does. He likes the dogs. Sometimes he'll lick their faces. Alright, now the two dogs and the cat are in here with me. Okay, now this, all I'm going to do is put this picture on here and that's going to be it. Cat, you're a pest. <laughs> My fans love it when he gets in the pictures. He's just walking across the desk. Okay, that's that. That's it. I got this this background of leaves, and that's it. All right. Um, penguins. I like the penguins. They're always interesting. So I had these two things. I got to cut this out a little better. I'm going to have to get you off this desk, Butterscotch, if you don't stop bothering me. But, you know, the gorillas are not happy in their cages. And, and the, the zoo, even though it's like the greatest zoo in the world, um, it's a lot of times when I go, I, don't, I see a lot of empty cages. They have them in other places. I don't know where they're at. And, you know, it's kind of disappointing. And it's expensive to go to the zoo. And then one year we went to the zoo. It was like five or six years ago. We, we were having a stay-at-home vacation. And um, it was kind of disappointing. And then we went to the University of Nebraska. Uh, they have a, a museum there. And it's got a lot of animals um, taxidermied. And they're well done. They even have a mammoth there. Um, and it's, it's a great museum. And inexpensive. Uh, but I got to see so many more animals there. Even though they were taxidermied. Now I am not a hunter. And I don't ha know how people can go kill deer. Although the, I know they need to control the population. And the deer can be a pest. Um, but... Uh, 
So I'm not really into killing animals for taxidermy, but uh, maybe they died of natural causes. And and be, being able to see them close up like that, I, I do like that. Um, I don't ever want to go kill an animal and have it taxidermy. I don't want a moose on my wall. But to go to the museum and see them, I don't mind that. And you know, But the point is, I actually enjoyed that museum and seeing a lot more animals more than I enjoyed seeing them at the zoo. Um, I don't know why, but that year I just felt that way. Okay, and I don't think I'm going to get fancy with this page either because, oh, let's see, the, the print background, that's enough. So I'm just going to glue these pictures on. You see, you don't have to go to a great deal of trouble to scrapbook. If you don't feel like you have the skills, it, you don't need a lot of skills. All right, I'll put that right there. And that there. You know what? I am going to. I've got this glued already. I am going to find a small black and white tag and put that on there. Where there is my black. See, I sort by color. I'm just going to pull that right out. Simple as can be. I got to get the little hole punch out of it. This is still sticky, so I'm going to put that on the tag. I don't know what it is about tags or maybe squares or circles when you put some little thing on there it just brings it to life so there that's that this two page layout is finished and I've got this one the rhinoceros I only have the one picture of the rhinoceros and I took a picture of my husband standing here by the sign there's a rhinoceros on the sign so this is my rhinoceros page and I didn't have any rhinoceroses and I used the gray background because the rhinoceros is gray and I have gray stuff you gotta use it somewhere I think I have two more pages after this one and then all my pages will be done. I don't know how long this video is getting to be. Oh, I think it's over an hour. <laughs> I'm surprised my camera is still running. So if my video camera shuts off pretty soon, but I don't think it will because I got a bigger, a bigger um, SD card. So, I don't think it will shut down. But if it does, that will be the end of this video. But I want to get these last two pages done. That's that. That's done. Okay. These I haven't glued down. Um, these are meerkats. Those are your meerkats. I did get them cropped to fit the page. But I didn't choose a background color. So, they're gray. But I think we need a little color. Since he's kind of orange, maybe I'll get a, an orangey or yellow. yellow. Um... Let's try yellow. And I don't know why, but I, I like having my borders on this side. Unless I'm doing a two-page layout, then they'll be on opposite sides. 
and sometimes my single pages will end up in the book side by side and the borders on this side and that's okay with me okay I'm, I'm just gonna go with the yellow I'm not gonna give it any thought because these are all pretty gray it almost looks like a black and white photos so we need some color on this page and I have so much print paper I might have should have looked for some print paper but I'm not going to okay so I just had to get Timba because he's a meerkat. He doesn't look much, look much like a meerkat, but that's what he is. You know, just to make the page a little more fun. Now him, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, fussy cut to, in detail, but I'm gonna leave a little white background around him so he'll stand out against whatever color I put him against, and it's easier to cut that way. Especially things like this tail. And he's got his finger, his thumbs there. I'm not going to detail around those thumbs. So my daughter's doing well at college now. She's it's working out great with her new roommate um, her roommate lives um, nearby in a suburb of Omaha so she and she comes home most weekends my daughter plans on coming home about once a month and and every holiday weekend so she um, and I go out there and pick her up and bring her home <laughs> two hours each way but it doesn't even bother me but her friend has offered to give her a ride and I think she just would like to have the company so and I'll be happy to pay her for gas but so that's gonna work out well and I told my daughter and, and I have no reason to I said if anybody is drinking and driving do not get in the car with them I've known too many people who have gotten killed that way and I actually saw some some statistics stats uh, that um, I think it was in Nebraska or, or maybe it was nationwide uh, that 100 percent of teenagers who have died in car accidents were not wearing a seatbelt. Now I don't I don't understand that because my generation. We, uh, the older cars back in the 60s did not even have seat belts some of them uh, we grew up just riding loose in the car and then as a grown up I was 40 before I could force myself to get in the habit of wearing the seat belt and I had a friend who really pushed me he pushed me a lot uh, and because we used to go places together um, so um, I finally got in the habit of wearing the seat belt and my daughter was raised with the seat belt so I don't understand why this generation is not wearing their seat belts and but yet when I was picking up my daughter from grade school I would see all these other parents got their kids picked them up they're driving out of the parking lot and those kids are climbing all over the car really <laughs> I mean I just don't get it um okay I'm looking for a border um I'm kind of looking at this map but that would have to go on their sideways that's maybe not a terrible thing but meerkats are not from the United States I don't believe so they're somewhere in the world so an, a map would be nice I'm gonna go with it not gonna think about it I'm just gonna go with it okay so I've got one more page after this to do I'm 
I, I think I like this end the best, so I'll put that end right there. My timer's going to go off in just a minute, so maybe I won't get that other... No, I am going to get it done. I'll wait. I'll finish that next page, and then that will be the end of this video. And then I will go get my load of laundry. Because it's only going to take me a few minutes to get that next page done. Alright. Now this page is, is in the home stretch. It's almost done. Okay. I'm going to overlap this. I don't know if you can hear it, but my cat's scratching his front paws on the wicker chair that I have in my room. My dogs usually behave themselves, <laughs> but that cat's always up to something. Except the two dogs, even though only I only have two, you might have heard them barking before. When they hear something, they sound like a big pack of dogs in the house and... and and I have never had my house broken into, so maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> They're my watchdogs. They wouldn't hurt a fly, but they don't know that. They sound like a big pack of dogs in here. I wouldn't break into that house. Alright, that page is done. And the last page. I got a little carried away with my seals. This seal is only a few days old back in June when I took the picture. Um, I'm going to go with, well they're kind of brown seals, not gray seals. So, I'm going to mat these photos. This is my collection of mats. And I, re there's my bell, just ignore that. I recycle greeting cards and scrap paper and I make a lot of these these mats and I sort them by color. So, um, gray, black, um, and I like to make these, when I do my scraps, I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do black, I'm, why am I looking at black? Um, th that's a good thing to do with, with your small scraps. I need two pieces of brown paper that are the same color. Oh, come on. Okay. Those are the same. I don't care for the color of that. <laughs> I, and I, sometimes I go through here and, and sort these by shade, but mostly I just mix them all together. I prefer that, that shade of brown. Alright. get those put back. I like to put things away right away whenever I can because I don't like my scrap room getting messy. Okay. So we'll just glue these mats down and add the photos. See here's one. Of, this is one of my mats. It was the en an envelope for a greeting card. So I'm going to glue the side that shows the writing on it and have a perfectly good photo mat on the other side. And if in 20 or 30 years the ink starts fading through, you can't even see it because it's behind the photo. So I'm kind of excited. My house payment is due in about a week. But guess what? I don't have a house payment because I paid off the house um, um, last month. This early this month, I paid off the house. I was down to four thousand dollars, and I had that in the savings account, and I just rolled it over, and the house is paid for. So I get to keep my money. My house payment was um, about was nine hundred and some dollars a month. Um, it's a pretty big house and we put an addition on, um, but it was close to a thousand dollars and, but I didn't pay a thousand dollars. I had automatic payments set up with three hundred dollars extra. I was paying three hundred and oh, over thirteen hundred dollars a month on the house payment with paying extra. 
and um, sometimes when we have extra money my my house account is at the same bank as my bank account and my savings account and everything so sometimes when we would have some extra money I would just roll it over into the house payment uh, so paid off my house in 17 years including all the home improvements we've done we, we've done everything to this house and uh, and our big addition which was eighty thousand dollars so it's it's all paid for and that just feels so good okay now I had this little little sticker it's a blue seal are seals blue no they might be gray because they're and because they're in the water which is blue we kind of think of them as blue. I remember as a kid we always colored them blue, didn't we? I don't know why I chose three seal pictures, but they're so cute I just wanted them all. Oh, I wonder if I can... I just changed my mind and I have the right to do that. See this is another recycled greeting card envelope. So I just decided that I want this one over here because we've got this open space here and I want this over here And I got it overlapping the edge a little bit, so I got to reposition it. All right. Just about done. And I think I'm going to put a little label on here got this box of stuff um, journal cards small assorted I'm looking for something small like that I need a little bit shorter that will do this has a little little point on it like it's a I'm saying something but I'm not saying something so I'm gonna Trim that off, and I'm going to to write. Baby seal is only a few days old. I'm gonna write six. 19. Okay. I'm just going to put that right there. And that is done. That's my last page. And I'm going to make another video if there, my battery's not dead. Um, I'm going to put all the pages into the book the, in the arrangement that I want them. I'm going to combine that um, Des Moines trip with the zoo. And I'm going to put a cover on the book. And then I'll do a flip through. 
Um, I've never done a video of making a cover for a book, so maybe I'll do that and then do the flip through. So, um, hope to see you soon. Bye.